Hello guys and welcome back for a new tactic tester and today we are playing with Red Bull Leipzig or Rassenball Sport Leipzig as they are actually known or called and um, yeah so uh, of, we'll check out the season preview first we expected to finish sixth and they expect us to play like this um, yeah that's not how we're gonna play though but um Let's actually have a look. We don't have anyone here in the Media Dream team, and our two most, our, our two key players according to the media are Werner and Sabitzer. So let's introduce you to the team. We are playing Tim's 3 4 3 total football, and of course, a link to his tactic will be down in the description below. And um, this is the way we're going to play. We're going to play uh, Gulashki as a sweeper keeper on attack. And he's got cover from Upamenko, uh, one of the most highly rated defensive uh, prospects of this year, uh, joined by Konate and Orban. Then our two defensive midfielders are Ampadu on loan from Chelsea, of course, and Tyler Adams. Both are, he's a natural central midfielder, but of course, we do not use a central. Midfielder, as you can see here, and Ampadu, of course, he is uh, more of a defend or central defender than he is a defensive midfielder, but he can play here, and I think he will do a decent job. On both wings, we've got Emil Forsberg, a uh, very, very good player. Can't wait to see what he can do. And on the other side, of course, we've got Marcel Sabitzer, one of our key players this year. Our attacking midfielder is Danny Almo. Came over, of course, from Dynamo Kiev. Is it Dynamo Kiev? Yeah, I think it is. No, it's not Dynamo Kiev. It's the the one from, uh, of course, Croatia. Um, but yeah, let's see how uh, he he's gonna do in his first season here. And up front, our two pressing forwards are Paulson and our other key player, Timo Werner. Uh, very. Um, I'm looking very much forward to seeing him banging in goals. Um, hopefully but yeah this is how we're gonna play we're gonna play with a positive mentality uh, we're gonna play very fairly wide um, playing out of the defense through the middle which of course would be handy uh, considering uh, most of our players are here in the central line when uh, underlap on the left and the right uh, so that they cut inside both towards Danny Olmo um, Shoot on side, uh, yeah, uh, because of those two pressing forwards, shooting on side is probably better, so more shots can come in. We're playing for set pieces, so we'll have to set those up. We've got a standard passing directness, uh, slightly lower tempo just to keep that ball. We are running at the defense and we're playing expressive, which we can do because we got a very talented squad. During the transition, we are going to counter press and counter. Uh, glad to see those two back again with uh, the goalkeeper rolling it out. And um, it's not been said to anyone, but probably to the defense so they can play it out. And then when they've got the ball, we use offside traps. So we'll try to trap the players with a, a standard defensive with, with both a much higher defensive and line of engagement. Use tight marketing, we press and we stay on feet. So let's see how that's going to work out, how many fouls we're going to get. Um, so just like last episode, we will see each other again here on in January, just a few days before the, fir uh, the first new game of the season against Union Berlin, which uh, actually is uh, halfway through the season. So I'll see you guys there. So we are now on the 15th of January and as you can already see Timo Werner's our top goal scorer with 9 goals and Emil Fosberg got both highest average rating with 7.59 and most assists with 9 assists and down here after 17 matches played we've scored 38 goals however we conceded 23 so our goal difference is 15. We've got seven, uh, 15 yellow cards and our stadium is on average filled with 40,000 
supporters so let's have a look at the squad right here as you can see goalkeeper they almost everyone almost played 25 games apart from Timo Werner Danny Almo, Fosberg, Sabater uh, and those two guys Adams and Pipamenko with actually almost everyone apart from the goalkeeper scoring with a high average rating of seven or higher and as you can see if we go down with goals uh, the guy's alone he, um, he he's not playing for us right now he's somewhere else but um Timo Werner is leading of course with nine but after that Paulson and Schlick both got eight Fosberg got seven and Badu scored four four from the defensive midfield position and uh, Daniel Mo scored three. And if we go by assists, Emil Fosberg is leading that, of course. But after that, Daniel Mo with eight. Marcel Sabater with seven. Paulson with uh, five. And then Schlick with three. And if we go and check out those real friendlies, that don't, those don't count. We started off with a 4 1 win over Vero in the German Cup. Followed by a 1 0 victory over Union Berlin, two draws against Eintracht Frankfurt and Borussia Mönchengladbach followed, with then a 3 0 win over Bayern München, which is huge. Then 1 2 3 draws with one in the Champions League. I'll have a look at the Champions League later on, how we're doing. Uh, and then draws against Werner Bremen of FC Werder and Schalke Novier. A 2 1 victory over. Atletico Madrid followed by a 2-4-2 four, four, defeat against Wolfs uh, but no not Wolfsburg Bayern we draw drew 2-2 two, two against Wolfsburg a surprising 3-0 defeat against Celtic followed by a 4-0 win over Freiburg another win over Hull in the German Cup second round also extra time though so we they 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 really gave us something there a draw against Mainz, then followed by three wins against Celtic, Hertha and Köln. A 2-0 defeat against PSG, but um, come on, it's PSG. That, that's that's how it's supposed to go on. Followed by a 2-2 draw against Spaderborg. A 4-0 over Hoffenheim. Another win in the Champions League. The last match we won 1-0 against Atletico Madrid. Followed by, surprisingly... 3-2 defeat against Fortuna Dusseldorf, in which they score, we score very late, two very late goals. And then beating Dortmund and Augsburg, leading us to the fourth. And as you can see here, we, uh, we drew Bayern in the German Cup in the third round, so not expect to reach the quarterfinal. And um, we drew Barcelona in the first knockout round, so uh, we're done. Or these two, I I think. But yeah. Um. So how's the tactic performing? Let's have a look in the Bundesliga. Team of of course we did score the most goals. We are not in here because I think if we had some better central defenders, it would be more optimal, and um, I think we would concede much less. Uh. So. Of course, our goalkeeper is the only one who played, so he isn't in there as well either. We are second on tackling completion ratio. Most fouls made, I don't see us in here. Average possession, we are fourth with 53%, so that's actually very good. We're on, on level with um, Schalke, Dortmund, Augsburg, Bayern and Gladbach. Passing accuracy, we are fifth. Heading, sixth. Crossing, 5th, most goals of course, 1st, and the student accuracy, 7th. But, um, yeah, overall I think we're doing very good, very good. So, I will see you guys right at the end of the season. Right after the Augsburg game. So, I'll see you guys there. Alright, so here we are. It's now the end of the season and we've gone a bit further than the... Um, Ausburg game because apparently well not apparently we went through with the vocal the German Cup of course and we actually wound up being the runner-up 
we lost against Dortmund and I'll show you right now how that game went. We lost 3-1 after Jadon Sancho just decided to turn up for this game after we actually won and drew with them in the Bundesliga. So, uh, yeah, we lost the cup. Of course, we lost, well, not of course, because this was the first game against Barcelona and we actually won 2-1 and then we got beaten by them when we played them away and they beat us 3-0. Um, so that was our Champions League campaign, but I'm very proud of us going all the way through the final and then finishing up, well, winding up being runners-up. And as you can see, we have finished third. Uh, if it will show me the league table, there you go. We finished third with 18 wins, 9 draws and 7 defeats. And I think we've done very well. We've scored 70 goals. We conceded, conceded however, 38. So, um, yeah, if I was continuing this save, I would definitely strengthen the... Um, the defense because uh, it's now just not good enough only Opamenko is uh, is good I deem him good enough I would also try to improve on the defensive midfield because um, Tyler Adams need a needs a better partner I think uh, very happy about the attack they've done a really really good job as you can see Sabitzer scored six with eight assists Forsberg scored 19 of nine with 17 assists then he almost scored 7 with 13 assists. And Timo Werner, our star player, scored 19 in only 36 games with 9 assists as well. And Yusef Paulsen scored 17 with 8 assists. Very, very good. Uh, Patrick Schlick scored 9 uh, in the end. He started in 12 um, with uh, coming in 24 different games, scoring 9 goals assists that, that's decent for a backup and um, anyone else yeah of course Kevin Jean Augustine uh, on loan at Leeds scored 22 in 39 games very well done for him um, but yeah let's see how we did in the end with the stats so of course we consider that more get more a lot more than we wanted. I think we were on level with uh, Korn, so an eighth most clean sheet. So we actually ended up with 13 clean sheets. So we would be fifth joined with Dortmund, Korn and Mainz. We ended up with being the best tacklers in the league. 90% of our tackles uh, were in falls. So that's very good, happy. Most form fouls made, uh, we'll, have, we'll check that out. Average possession, we ended up with 53, so that's the same as in January, so we kept that up. The passing accuracy, we, uh, I'm not sure, I think we were quite on level with that as well. Heading, 63% of our headers were completed. Crossing, 6th. Most goals, we are on level with FC Bayern, so that's very, very good. Um, Close, followed by Bayern 04 and Dortmund. Best shooting currency, I wouldn't expect us to be in here anyways, since we use the blah, 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 shooting on side. Maybe if we worked it into the box, we would have gotten a higher percentage. But I'm not sure if we would have scored that many goals in that case. So if we go back, let me have a look, detail. Let's see. Falls against. So there were actually a lot of full fouls made to us with 501, and that's um, way, way off uh, second by Borussia Dortmund and, and more off from Bayern. But if we have a look, we, they, we conceded one penalty, that's okay. We've caused one most of our tackles and actually we've only tackled about 583 and we uh, oh we finished so close there we were only 26 fouls of 
uh, last place Bayern. So that's that's decent. That's very decent with 30 yellow cards and that being one of the lowest. Only Bayern has less card, yellow cards than we do. So that's that's decent. Uh, salary, we are third with Bayern spending a lot, lot more than we do. Transfer spend, we had a negative spend of 600 grand. Uh, anything else in here? Yeah, as you can see, the balance, I think it went up. Yeah, we made a profit of 122 million this season. So that's, that's very, very... <laughs> That's a lot for not like selling any anyone. Um, currently, a balance of uh, ninety three million. So happy with that. Uh, if we would continue, turnover would go up and then drop for some reason. Uh, might be a, a lack or uh, the lose of some players, loss of some players. Expenditure went. It uh, what well, is going to be a lot higher due to more players being here. Uh, uh, contracts being renewed and being up, well, you know, at all. Uh, profit went down from 100, it's going to be down uh, by almost uh, two thirds, while the wages are being relatively the same, and the transfer budget should double in three years, so that's decent as well. Um, overall, I would definitely recommend this uh, this tactic. If you've got the, um, the keeper and the defense to play with, uh, same goes for the defensive midfield. Um, if you've got a squad that has exceptionally good defensive central defenders and a good uh, defensive midfield, then you should definitely try this out, see how it works. Make sure you've got a decent attack as well, since um, these will they will provide you with the most goals. Um, but yeah, overall, I would definitely recommend it. So, uh, yep, yeah, enjoy it. And, um, yeah, so this was it, guys. I will see you Monday with a new episode of The Young Ones. So I will see you guys then. Have a good weekend.